Are you seeing this? Clearly I love coffee in my milk and not the other way around. Clearly. Loves, it's A back on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. It's been a minute. How long has it been since I've sat here and it's just been you and me? A couple weeks. I feel like the last thing I did was the Atlanta reviews, which were so much fun. If you found me from there, my little commentary and recaps, thank you so much for sticking around. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have so much in the works for this month, which first of all, how are we in the first weekend of June? If you live in the six, you already know. 13 weeks, mm, more like nine. The weather fluctuates so much here. Hot girl summer is gonna become icy real quick. So you gotta enjoy it. I'm gonna keep you guys up to date with the vlogs, but instead of doing weekly vlogs, I think I'm gonna keep to the four week vlog since you seem to like the one I last posted. I know it's not as often as it used to be, but trust me, nine hours of editing, three hours of filming, that's a lot of time week by week by week. Let me know if you really love them and I get enough people to love them, then I'll keep doing them like that. Otherwise, at the end of the month, I'll just give you a quick recap, share some snippets of what I've been up to for the last 30 or 31 days. And as for everything else, usually when I see a comment related to Stargrass disease, the answer is already on this platform. I also have a four part series, well, two of them, a beginner and an intermediate, because who really masters blindness? Let's be real on what it's like to live life legally blind and the different stages as far as school, work, dating, figuring out yourself, being independent. I answered it all. So you can check out the YouTube membership or Patreon, whichever platform you prefer. On the note of Patreon, a lot of you guys already know I have my pod, it's called Authentic. You can find it on all public platforms. I also have a private version on Patreon. The public one, I usually use something in social media and put a little authentic twist on it. What can we learn? What does this say? How do we reflect this back on ourselves? The private one though, sometimes I'm looking at my microphone like, why did I just say that? Why did I admit that? I can't believe I said that. So if you really wanna get into this head and you can see the five head, there's a lot in this head, you can definitely check out the Patreon pods. Before I click the camera on, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna say this, 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 this. Then the camera's on and I'm like, wait, I know I'm forgetting something. You know how it is. But if you wanna keep up with me, if you feel like, oh wait, where's A? Check me out, I'm on all social media platforms. I even got a TikTok, even though I was against that for years. If you're there, I'll be there. So you can check out my TikTok and I'll follow you back. You can also check me out on Instagram. I'm there every single day with my stories. So it's like a mini vlog, every day. And then Twitter, I'm trying to, you know, I was never really a big Twitter person and the typos I'd be typing but I'm trying, I'm trying. It's kind of weird letting you guys know what I'm thinking in text form, especially when I already have the pods, but sometimes I repost things or when I capture information, sounds like a Pokemon. When I learn something new, I wanna share it with you. So whether it's a snippet of a pod I've been listening to or something I saw on YouTube or something I heard in the world, I'll usually put it there and kind of get your thoughts on that too. So you can follow me on all of the platforms, even Pinterest. I'm trying to get my pins on, okay? I'm just trying to do the most in 2022. Does anyone know if Atlanta's coming back this fall or the following fall? I really hope it's this fall because I loved having these reaction recap videos with you and I want to do them live. I just need to figure out the webcam sitch. I was actually going to do this video live and then I realized, girl, they're not going to be able to see you. <laughs> so I just figured we'd do it the old fashioned way and then hopefully, by the fall or the falling fall, I'll get my webcam game up because I should really start doing lives. I don't know guys, I just wanna showcase my life through my eyes. So a lot of times when I vlog, it's not really me, ratatata, although with Kitchen Chronicles, sometimes I do go off. But most of the time I'm showing you sceneries or spots and places I like to go because I want you to see what I may not even be able to see in the moment and enjoy. And I get secondhand enjoyment when I'm zooming in and editing these videos because like, oh, I didn't even take that in when I was there. But in the process of creating content for you, I'm able to enjoy it myself. It's so weird. Usually content creators complain about the opposite, that they can't fully indulge in the moment because they're constantly creating, collecting content. But for me, since when I usually look at something, I can't see it well, this is my excuse to capture it and then enjoy it a second time close up. So if you guys like it, I love it. I'll keep it coming with whatever content you prefer. Let me know down below what you wanna see more of, what I've done in the past that you're like, girl, bring back. What you're like, no, it's a no-go. Don't ever do that again. Don't waste my time, your time, everyone's time. I'm open, you know that, as long as you come respectful. And they said there's no such thing as constructive criticism. 
But if you have input, I'm here for it. So let a girl know down below if you haven't already and this is your first time watching my video, hey, subscribe. I've got a lot on this platform and I have a lot more coming. So I hope you guys stick around for a bit. Hit the like button and until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.